2023 meeting of the West Haven ARPA committee will now come to order. Will each member state their name for the record? Ken Carney. Dwight Knowles. Mike Glass. Chris Forrest. Ken Gary Spurdo. Rohan Smith. Each member received a copy of the agenda for tonight's meeting. Are there any proposed changes? If none, the agenda stands. I'm going to ask for a motion to waive the reading of the March 7th regular meeting minutes. Do I have it? Motion to waive. Do I have a second? Second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Uh, chairman's report. Um, we are spending some money. Our larger projects are in design. Uh, we are working with those architects. Um, the PO system is working great. Vendors are getting paid for the most part. Uh, there's still a few people that fall through the cracks, but most people are getting paid right away. Um, I meet with UHY every Wednesday now via Zoom to go over um, invoicing, um, projects, answer their questions, they answer my questions, and then we usually, and then every two weeks we have a meeting with them and the attorney to keep things uh, moving. Okay. Uh, the spending plan update, I'm going to very quickly ask that invoice number 537798 for Carmody be approved for 28,534. Motion? Motion. Do I have a second? Second. Okay. Uh, all in f uh, any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Okay. You don't see a bill for UHY because I negotiated a $50,000 credit. They billed us roughly $100,000 uh, with one of their employees who worked with our grants writer. And looking back at what wasn't accomplished, I asked that we be refunded 50% of that $100,000 bill, which spanned several months, and they obliged. So we got a $50,000 credit, which has been covering their bills to date. Any questions on that? <clears throat> okay, uh, motion is approved. Uh, very quickly, Jow Films, the amount of $200, invoice number 1105. Do you have a motion to approve? Motion. Okay, do you have a second? Second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Let's move on to completed projects. Uh, for committee approval. So I've asked uh, Ernie to come here tonight. For those of you who haven't met Ernie, uh, ARPA is paying him roughly 20 hours a week to run all these park projects. We hope when that money is expended, Ernie stays on and continues working with us. He's doing an unbelievable job coordinating, putting things out to bid, getting us paperwork, and making sure jobs are completed to spec. So thank you for that, sir. Do you want to come up front and we'll just kind of run through these quickly? So, Ernie, we've got, I'm going to go through these. I'm just going to ask you to just quickly comment on them. Uh, the Shingle Hill Park guardrail, yeah, that, um, that is completed, correct? Completed, yes. Okay, you want to just tell us about that very quickly? That was just to uh, protect an area along the edge where there was a dip where a child could fall off into a, a low ravine. So the guardrail was put up there for that protection, for right, that safety. And that, and that is on page number... 20, oh, oh, 20, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, um, do I have a motion to approve? Um, motion to Frankson, Frankson Fence Company invoice number 12831 for 3090. So moved. Do I have a second? Second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Next, we go to Veterans Park Guardrail. Now, this is another guardrail. Same company, same amount. Tell us about it. That is uh, an area that I am creating for a picnic area, and it's right alongside a driveway coming up to the uh, Veterans um, Stadium. And so, f again, for the safety of uh, anybody picnicking there, they wouldn't be running into the road. So I had to put that guardrail up. Okay. Do we have a motion to approve Frankson Fence um, <clears throat> invoice? 
There's a number of this invoice here. He's got a number. We'll invoice for Shingle Hill Park for 3090 Motion to approve. Do have a second? Second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Now be aware that Frankson Fence is on the state bid list. Mm -hmm. Yes. Which means we're able to engage their services without going out to bid. Take one of those, David. Those give to uh, Mr. Rohan there. Okay. Next, we have Veterans Field new gate installation. That is, again, up the top of the driveway. Um, there is a road area that goes out to the back of Aldi's, and people were cutting up through the park and going around in front of the uh, landscape company and out through all these. So I spoke to the landscape company and I gave them the combination of a lock if they need to access back and forth. They could come in the other way also, but that is a, a swing gate that's going to be closed all the time. Question on that. Uh, I do have a question for sporting events up there. Sometimes that gate is open after games, and sometimes it's closed. I don't know what the this logic is. is. This is a new gate that just went up. You may be referring to the, the gate going gate. into the parking lot. Right, yeah. But it was. Closed sometimes, open sometimes. It was hit and miss. That particular the gate to the parking lot? Yeah. Yeah, that's. I think that's church. What's that, the parking, park department no, no. or the church? That's the parks department. He's referring to, I believe, the double gate going into the parking lot for the stadium. Oh, I see. That's what I think. What there's no, 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 no. There's another that. gate between. There's another gate. Yeah, that's over right. by a little I, maintenance that's, shed. That was, that was the contractor that's there. That was their gate. I moved it up to our property line, a new one. They replaced and, that one. And, and so that's closed and locked with, with a combination lock. So that's going to be closed all the time unless. All the time. Now, all the time. All right, so. Extra pen. Items. Here you go, the next pen. He's got one. Dave, we got some pens here. All right, so items number four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13 have already been approved by the committee. What we're doing now is approving the invoices. And I don't know if we copied those and put them back in here. Do you see them in here? Uh, yeah, I guess, are they, do you see them in here, Ernie? You're looking for Those were all all sent over. Um, no, no, I, I don't know if they're in the packet or not. I don't know if she put them in the packet. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, we have a 300-page maximum on the packet. That's the problem. So. There are also pictures in here behind some of the... Uh, projects because I always take pictures before and after. Um, here's. It looks like they're in the back of the, yeah, they're in the back. It looks like they're a little out of order here. Yeah, some of these got. All right, so let's, let's start with the Veterans Field Newgate installation. Um, which company did that? That was Frankson. All right, Frankson Fence, um, PO number 2263. Do I have a motion to approve? Do I have a second? Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Okay, next we go to, Sh motion carries. Next we go to Shingle Hill Message Center, PO, 2486. Tell us about that. What I plan on doing, that was a, a sample in a sense. I plan on putting a message center up at all the different parks where the rules for the parks are go in them. If you have a, uh, a trail, some type of diagram of the trail and et cetera. So, there's going to be one in every park, and this is just more or less of a, a tested one that we're going to probably modify as we go along. And that's only $785? Yes. Okay. All right. Do you have a motion to approve? So moved. Do you have a second? Second. Okay. okay. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Next, we go to item six, Plainfield Ave gate moving in the amount of 475 Tell us about that. We moved the gate that was there back about 100 feet so he could get off the road uh, safely and, and, and pull a car or a truck off that road. 
So we had to move that old existing gate back about 100 feet. Okay. And which company? Uh, Franks and Fence. Franks and Fence. In the amount of 475. Do a motion to approve? So. Okay. <coughs> Second. A any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Go to item 7, Veterans Park Storage Shed. The amount of 1250. Tell us about that. That is in the Horseshoe Pit area. Uh, there's leagues on Wednesdays and Thursday nights. And last year they asked if we could possibly put up a shed there for storage of their horseshoes and their rakes and their shovels. Um, so I had a contractor build that from scratch. And they are going to, the, the volunteer is going to be one of the horseshoe people that are going to paint it. And that was for 1250? Yeah, 1200. And 1200. And who was the company? That was um, Classic Drywall and Remodeling. Did you get their unique identity number yet? Or has someone? I did not. All right. Would you mind calling them tomorrow? I did today. Okay. All in favor uh, for Veteran Storage Shed from Classic Drywall, PO 2487. Um, do you have a motion? Motion. Okay. Do you have a second? Second. Any discussion? Just real quick, how big is that building? Uh, four by five by six. Save him to the four end. Four by five by six. Thanks. I got to do this. Okay. Yeah, put him on five at the end. Any other discussion? Are we waiting on the UEI on them? We we are. So but, just but make it you approved. Still subject. sign it. Yes, yeah, subject yes. to that. Yeah. Approved subject to UEI. Yeah. Um, all in favor, say aye. 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 Motion carries. Next, we go to item number eight, Painter Park. Uh, Another gate in the amount of 42.55. That's Mark Payne wanted the lower road to Painter Park closed down because there are people cutting through there and dumping and so forth. So one of the gates we moved back that was there, and another gate brand new just on the other side. So we installed those two swing gates. Okay, and that was Frankson as well. Uh, yes. Uh, do you have a motion to approve uh, Frank's an invoice 42 in the amount of $4,255? Motion. Do you have a second? Second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion aye. carries. We move on to slide removal. We had a, a damaged slide uh, on Ocala Park. O Ocala Park. $225. And Go ahead. I tried to get it replaced. I met with the uh, um, Playscape company and they could not find a replacement for it. So I had uh, classic drywall and uh, remodeling remove it and close it down. So they removed the slide and closed off the spot up top where they, the kids were sliding down. Do you have a motion to approve uh, in, in the invoice for 225 for classic drywall? Motion to approve. Do I have a second? <clears throat> okay. Uh, any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Next, we've got Morris Park field repairs to three, three, four, and five. That's fencing, correct? That I was going to say. That's fencing. That's in, in fields two, three, four, and six. It was Frankson fencing. Mm -hmm. There were a lot of fencing that had to be repaired and, re and replaced, and uh, they did that. Frankson. Frankson. Uh, for two thousand eight hundred fifty, do have a motion to accept? So moved. Do I have a second? Second. Any discussion? All in favor, say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Next, Shingle Hill Park wood chips, the amount of 2475. Tell us that, about that. That was to create a um, trail in Shingle Hill Park. Uh, we never had one before. Um, I believe the you accepted a approved um, a pathway that we had made originally, and now we, we put chips along that pathway to make a safer safer passage. Do I have a motion to approve? Motion. Second. Uh, any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. All right. Let's go to All right, let's go to page 136, it looks like. A-plus plumbing, Morris Park. So this is a invoice to replace several faucets, toilets, and sinks at Morris Park uh, 
uh, while the water was off. Uh, did the water get turned back on? No, not as of today, no. Okay. I'm working on that to, uh, uh, for the plumber to go back to to check all his, his work that he did. This is the concession stand yep. at Morris Park. The, the bath, the public bathrooms, uh, his and hers. And this is the low bidder. There were three bids. Yes. This is the low bidder, yep. 4930 4, Do I have a motion to approve for A-plus plumbing? Uh, invoice um, number 2636 for 4930. So moved. Second? Second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Next, we have item 13. It starts on page 138. Sign light uh, Maureen's dream in the amount of 1014. Tell us about that. This is the wooden playground that is at Painter Park. Um, the sign was put up, uh, I would say, probably seven, eight years ago. It was damaged, and so I was asked to if I could uh, replace it, which I did. And job's done, correct? Correct. And you got an extra pen for uh, welcome. Um, do you have a motion to approve sign light invoice? Motion to approve. Do you have a second? Second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Next, we go to item 14. Now, this is a purchase order for committee approval. Uh, work has not been done yet. That's correct. Uh, horse area and playground fence. It's horseshoe, horseshoe area. Horseshoe area, I'm sorry. In the amount of 2640, I do have that on page 140. What do you got there? This is to separate the new playground that I'm putting together at Veterans Park and the horseshoe area. Presently, they had a four-foot fence. I'm putting a six-foot fence up. Okay. Do you have a motion to approve? Motion. Do you have a second? Second. All right. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. All right. Next, we go to item 15, um, Morse Park Pressure Wash Dugouts. That is to prime, uh, power wash, prime, and Page paint. Page 148. That's to power wash, prime, and paint the dugouts at Morris Park. Okay, do we have a motion to approve? Okay, yes, sir. Who normally pay for that, for the league or the city? Uh, I, I believe that in the past, um, they as volunteers well, did it, but little, the yeah, peeling is, is so bad that it needs a good power washing, and they asked us if we would do it under ARPA. All right. Do you have a motion to approve? Motion. Do you have a second? Second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Next, I got the same deal happening to Seth Haley, exact same company, exact same amount. Yes. Do you have a motion to approve um, the pressure washing at Haley for $23.50? So do you have, uh, Dwight's a second on that. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. All right, next on page 145 of your booklet, Veterans Park Picnic Area in the amount of 940. Uh, remove the pressure treated 4x4 four four to replicate existing benches. Installation includes all new hardware and supports. Tell us about that. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, this Veterans Park picnic area, um, that is the area that I'm creating a picnic uh, location. I had it dug out three, four inches and a mulch put down. Um, the other reference to the bench is a, is a different, that, that's been done already. Go, go to page 145. Classic drywall remodeling. Okay, it's just titled wrong on there. Yes, okay, so that's, they had the old benches there. I had them remove the old wood off those benches and install new ones. Okay. Do you have a motion to approve? Motion. Second? Second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. All right. Next we go to project estimates for committee approval. So the next section here are estimates we got, chart starting with childscapes, which a little bit out of order, but it's back in your book, and that is on page number 48. Go to page 48. All right, I got a childscape uh, estimate for Veterans Park. And if you go to page 49, you'll see what they're doing. 
and this is for twenty eight thousand eight thirty eight point thirty five. Want to talk about that? Uh, this is the new area. Veterans Park did not have a play area, um, and so we're putting this together up to the left of the horseshoe pits and to the entrance to the um, stadium. Do you have a motion to approve this estimate? I got a question. Uh, where so, do you anticipate the kids are going to be coming from? I mean, that is a state highway. Yeah. And it well, doesn't I seem think neighborhood. what's going to happen during the summer months, um, there's a lot of activity at the stadium. And so there's a lot of parents with their kids. And so that it'll be utilized quite a bit once that stadium is active again. All right. Talking about the stadium being utilized quite a bit. What are the restroom facilities there? Uh, Mike, maybe you could talk about that. I mean, the restroom areas at the stadium. Wait, 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 wait. Before we do that, let's just go on to the motion. Okay. We'll approve the motion, then we'll go back to that. Uh, do we have, a, a, do we have a, a motion to approve the estimate for Childscapes in the amount of 28,838.35? Motion to approve? So moved. Second? Second. Any discussion on that? All in favor say aye. 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 Okay, now we have a motion on the table from Ken Ferris to discuss the bathrooms. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Well, that was going along with the motion, too, so I don't... I, That's you know. right. Good. Uh, no, because I've, I've been to uh, functions there, and it seems that there's quite a line at the bathroom. You're talking at the, you're talking about at Inside the stadium. Inside the facility, yeah. It seems like there's only a I very... I mean, we haven't discussed that, and that small. can certainly be discussed. I mean... That didn't come up that didn't come across my radar no outside in the picnic area and where you want to put a place get there's no facility out there is there no and as there, long as we're talking about that does that gate at the stadium get closed after an event yes it does oh, okay mike what's the story in the bathrooms are the bathrooms are are fairly new they've only been yeah. open for maybe three years in the field house. In the field house. In, in the field house. So it was two team rooms put in yeah. and two restrooms. Um, in the biggest, I think the biggest events they have there are Notre Dame football games. And occasionally there's, Soccer there's a line and there. Lacrosse, Soccer and lacrosse are there, but they don't get the big crowds. Right. I think the, like football, football. the football yeah. is what brings more people. So, you know, occasionally there are, there are lines. But. And for the park itself, we normally put a porta potty there for the summer. Because we have the dog park, we have the yeah, guys outside, playing the yeah. horseshoe, so we, we normally put up and that the porta potty is yeah. probably going to go in there in the next few weeks. Yeah. Okay, moving on, we have Harrington and Sons proposal for 285 Platt Avenue in the amount of 2490. Talk, talk about that. That is a new area that the the, the city um, has That's on page 50, guys. Has worked on. Um, we put this parking lot off the street because there was no place for parking that was the first thing and now we have Harrington and Sons going in there and uh, making the trail safe it's going to be a passive park it's just going to be trails no no playground no basketball courts this was something that the state gave us uh, 20 years ago and is this known as architect park yes okay. yes or archaeological park I'm archaeological yeah. park um, it's on Platte Avenue next to Witcher's gas station. next to the station yeah. correct yeah. The old Jess and Dallas it's 15 property. acres back there. It's beautiful. Mm. So we're opening it up to the public. Uh, we named it the council. We went in front of the council. Leo Kelly did. And it's going to be named um, Narrow Point Park. Yes. Do we have a motion to approve the 2490 for the work on Platte Avenue? Motion. Do we have a second? Second. Any discussion? Any more questions? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Next, we have Layden Industries uh, for the Brent Watt Park in the amount of 7680, and that could be found on page 52. We have asphalt sidewalks there, and the trees have uh, pushed some of the areas up and made them trip hazards. <clears throat> so I met with Layden out there. We marked off the, the sections that need to be repaired. Layden has an existing contract with the city, so that means the bidding is okay. Do I have a motion to approve this estimate for 7680 So moved. Do I have a second? 
Second. Second. Do I have any discussion? Anybody? Yes. Go ahead. Are we doing anything, you know, we're spending all this money, but are we doing anything to advertise to the people that these things are now up and running and available? Well, yeah. there's still a lot more work to do on all the parks. Yeah. And I think at some point, you're right. I think we need to put it out there somehow or another to let the residents know what has been done in all the parks we, and the upgrades. We put an ad in the paper today, on, on the paper, indeed, for a part-time writer for The Voice whose whole job will be two days a week to talk about what the ARPA committee is doing right. with, the, with the funds. So as soon as we find that person, we will uh, be paying them to do that. Okay. Now, I know you've been to all the parks. What about vandalism? Because... You know, I know in the past there's been a lot of vandalism, carving up benches, building little kids. Yeah, I mean, him know the security features because he might go out and try to vandalize. No, no, no. no I, mean, I can't reveal too much. We're going to get a little more. Uh, we're, know, we're, we're looking into extra lighting where extra lighting is needed. In some cases, we may have to put up some type of solar lighting. Um, we're going to do the best we can. That, that's a hard topic sometimes yeah okay um any last questions for ernie ernie i think you're done okay great job thank you thank you thank you all right where's my sheet here so all right so that's the parks fund now we go to food uh, project number 2022004, uh, Food Bank, Board of Ed funds have been fully distributed. They're spending money. Dave, where are we with the recipients, the sub-recipients, and the other three? Um, we are very close to having a final contract. There is, uh, we've gone back and forth with UHY. They've recommended various changes, which we have, I think, met. There's one issue that I'll talk to you offline having to do with the tweaking the procurement and where exactly guidelines come from. I have been in touch with all of the ones that need recipient agreements at this point. For a while, we've not heard from Savin Rock Communities. We now have contact with them, so I expect within not good, week to 10 By the days. next meeting, we should be in Oh, shape. absolutely, by the next meeting, okay. sub-recipient agreements okay. should be signed and we're ready to roll. Now, with that, we did put the food back out to bid. We don't have funding for it, but we, wanted, we had to prove to the feds that we were not making it exclusive to West Haven. With that, First Lutheran Church came in with an ask, West Haven Community House came in with an ask, and Wheat came in with an ask. It totals about 175000 I have to get council approval to see if the council wants to spend that money or not, and that will happen in the next meeting I go to. I'll, I'll ask them. Any questions on the food? Next, we go to Johnson Senior Center. Uh, we have the roof bid ready. They're designing and engineering the RTU. We think this will go out to bid second week of April. Any questions on Johnson Community Center? Uh, next, we have stormwater management. Uh, the VAC truck. Got an email today. Back truck is ready, sitting down in Miami, head, heading up here. They're driving it up here. They think it'll be here either Friday or Monday. This is a beautiful truck. So uh, I'll just pass these around. Uh, I've been calling these guys on a regular basis, but this thing is really something. Uh, I can't wait to see it painted up and help pick it up while I'm down there. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. When they tell me they're Don't driving here, I don't think they're driving the truck here. They're okay. putting it on something to drive it here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think. I, I don't know for sure, but it didn't sound like they were physically driving it. Right, right, right. Yeah. Okay. So um, what's going to happen is they want to get paid next week. Once the city looks at it and makes sure everything is there that we they owe us, the there's already a PO cut, I'll approve payment, and then I'll come to you next month and ask for permission, even though it's after the fact, because we're not going to wait a month to get paid, unless you want to have a special meeting. So that, that, that's how we'll do it. Okay. Um, 
the Stormwater Management Capital Fund. So we have, if you look on your on your project sheet, we have one point four million seventy thousand for problem areas. Okay. Um, we have spent. It says ten thousand here. We've probably spent about. 50,000 to date plus the machine another 70 they had a major sewer break um, yeah and chestnut the city is asking for 530,000 to help cover that expense that expense they think is going to be eight hundred thousand dollars the I have a stack of bills this large there was raw sewage coming out of the street the stormwater pipe was in the way, all kinds of problems. Um, they asked me for 530000 to help cover that. There is no funds for that. Is it approved by the committee? No, I'm asking for it now. A motion to uh, approve 530000 Up to council. Would they approve it? Well, the way I'm looking at it, unless someone tells me differently, and Dave, you're the attorney here, they're giving us 1470000 for this type of work. I don't think we go back to the council for the expenditure. Once they give us the money, it's our job to spend it. I think the 530, the city. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, well, well no, because the council's not asking for it. The department is, uh, is asking for it. Water, water pollution control. Money's already been spent, mm -hmm. correct? I, yes. I understand. This is a reimbursement, yes. And on the number, uh, we've got the agenda item on the following page. I had 500 even, 500,000 even on uh, uh, is top, that, of, top it, of page five. Oh, all right, hold on. Funding up to 500,000. So make it 500,000? Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Typo there. Ken, should we go through the to the city council just because this was for stormwater and and the, the sewer break really wouldn't wouldn't cover? It's not exactly what they approved the money for. Yeah, it seems like it's being repurposed. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I think, I'm kind of with Mike on this. I think if you go back to, I mean, if, if we got to go back to the council, we'll certainly do that. But if you go back to the original language of the. Um, council resolution. I think it's beyond stormwater, but I have to check that. I don't have that with me tonight. Yeah. I agree. We probably should run this by the council before we move forward. All right, so let's put a motion to table it pending council input. Just one quick. I, I, this yeah. is the first time hearing of it. Was it uh, just an old infrastructure that broke down, or a it was a pipe construction accident? My understanding is it was a pipe 24 feet in the ground that exploded. Yeah, they were working there for the better over a month. They, over a they month. still haven't finished. They haven't right. paved yet. They had so. tents out there. They had campers out there. It was unbelievable. They had to set up a temporary sewer line for the entire street. To take it. Yeah. All right, so, let's, so give me, if that's the way you feel about it, give me a motion to approve this pending council, city council input. I'll make a motion for approval uh, pending city council approval. Do, do, uh, do I have a second? Second. Okay. Any discussion? All in favor, say aye. 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 Motion carries. You gonna write that motion down? So you can. Motion to approve. Okay. And then you've got the stormwater management. Uh, you have a um, million dollars in matching funds. We have committed. So far, $207,000 in matching funds for various grants that this committee has approved. Uh, next, move down to Recycling and Reuse Center. Um, I think we have a bill for that. Hold on. And are we doing the, uh, the HOPEN oh, invoice? Yeah, I skipped that one. So go down, to, so under Stormwater Management, the machine has been delivered. It is on page 56. And they tell me that it's perfect size. It's going into people's yards without doing damage, cleaning out right of ways, you know, eliminating flooding issues. Seventy thousand five seventy one. I got to get this guy paid. Do I have a motion to approve H O Pen's invoice number S nine six three four four zero one? Motion. Second. Okay. Any discussion? 
Yeah, Ken, who's going to take care of this? Is this going to be under water pollution? My understanding, it was delivered to College Street, and my understanding the two agencies are going to split the use of it. Okay. As long that's as somebody okay. takes charge of maintaining yeah. it. Yeah, that, that's what they're telling me. So, any discussion? Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. All right, next we go to Chestnut Street sewer line break. We went through that already, 500,000. I guess that was on here twice, Dave. Yeah. Five, oh, no, I screwed 30. up. I took, when I went to uh, item seven, it was the VAC truck that was 530. Oh. Yeah, my, my mistake. I'm, I'm working off of this and this. I'm going to have to combine them for next month. It's getting too complicated. Um, all right, so this is the Chestnut Street sewer line break. We're gonna, we put that on hold, or we approved that pending council approval. Um, Recycling and Reuse Center. I do have an invoice for $1,200 coming up on a new business, so I'll wait till I get there. Next, we move City Hall windows. We have an invoice uh, in the amount of $1,630.40. That's with Hoffman Architects. We signed a contract with them uh, to design the replacement windows, to put it out to bid on behalf of the city, and do CA work. Their first invoice is this one. Do I have a motion to approve? Motion to approve. Do I have a second? Second. Any discussion? Do they have any idea what that project's going to cost in, in total? So we have $650,000, and the architects are, I told them that the basis of design should be a, vinyl, a reinforced vinyl window. They've come a long way. We're putting them in buildings up to 10 stories high. They want to go with a metal window, and I explained to them that we don't have the money for that. So today's discussion was a compromise, and the two windows in this room, because of their size, will be metal. The rest of the building will be vinyl, and we think that will come in under budget, on budget. I told them if they're going to design metal windows for the entire building, that's great, but there's no money for it. We, we don't have the money for it. So I think we're going vinyl for the whole building, metal for these two large windows. These are the, these are the largest windows in the building, I believe. And, you know, I, I told them, let's not let the tail wag the dog. Go with vinyl everywhere else and, right. and these here. So I think we'll be ready for bid in a little less than two months. Any other discussion? Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. That's approved. Okay, next, um, I have fire districts. So I'll just give you a quick update, and I do have one invoice to approve. So Allentown wants to use their funds for procurement of land and the design of a new firehouse. That land procurement is right across from UNH, near Rock Street, I think it is. Uh, there's a, um, a sliver of a street, if you will. They want to take that over. The state owns it. It's going to give it to them for $50,000, and then they'll have room to build a firehouse. Um, Center District wants to use their money to redo the Malloy firehouse and make it active again with sleeping quarters. West Shore is actively designing new sleeping quarters and remodeling of Benham Hill and Ocean Avenue. Um, and the invoice I have is from Antonazzi for $1,185. That's in your book there. Um, pull it up for you. It is page 60. And that's part of his design invoice. Do you have a motion to approve? So moved. Do you have a second? Second. Uh, any discussion? And this is just for West Shore? Just West Shore, yeah. Okay. Any other discussion? And just a question yes, for that. Sir. The firehouse that they've acquired, acquiring the land to build, do they have the funds to build the firehouse? Uh, they do not, but there, uh, there are large grants out there that they can't even consider until they own the land. Gotcha. So they want to do the land and the design, get a shovel-ready job, and then go after the funds. And they also have the opportunity to sell their other firehouses to help fund that. God bless you. Bless you. Thank you. So, so there, are, there are some plays there. Well, 
it's th there's never a case where you don't get the funds. It's a case of oh, how nice. long before you get the funds. Because eventually the houses fall down, right? I mean, they're, you, get, you need a new firehouse at some point. They're hoping for the next couple of years. It might be 10 years. Who knows? But they, but they need the land. They'll have the design ready to go, and then they'll aggressively pursue the funds. Um, it'll happen eventually. You know, the, the, the time's the issue. But eventually they're going to need a new firehouse. But it just seems like it's going to take approximately 10 years from now, right? So basically we just tie the funds up into the land right here because it's not going No, to they'll, they'll own an asset, which will be the land. They will have designs for the firehouse. The million will cover that. U and H might get involved. They're talking about the library sharing the building with them. The library has a million dollars uh, under ARPA. I don't want to commit anybody to anything. I'm just saying things that I'm hearing. There, there is a plan to get the funds, but, they, but nothing happens unless they get the land and they have an opportunity to get the land from the state for $50,000. Can I just add something? Yeah. There, I think also to that point, I think there will be uh, federal infrastructure money coming down the road and there might be some opportunities for, for federal funds in the next couple of years. Yeah. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, the motion carries. All right, next we go to the boardwalk cameras. Um, Do we skip over recycling and reuse? No, I went over that. I told you we were in design. Okay, and uh, the broadband access from the library? They're, this is ongoing. We send the bills next month. All right, here are the plans for the cameras. Okay, and I'm just going to want to take a quick peek. The cameras are going from West Walk Condos along the beach to Sandy Hook Place Gate. Uh, there'll be six call boxes. Uh, when a resident hits the call box, they get instantly in touch with 911, and the 911 operator can see them and see what's going on. These cameras are state of the art, so much so that they cover the parking lots along the beach, which they've had some activity in. If you, if the police plug in a license plate number into their system, the camera emails them when they find the license plate. If there's a assault or a robbery and someone says the guy in the red hat, they type in the guy in the red hat, and everybody in the red hat pops up. There's no searching for hours. These are pretty good cameras. It also allows them to see what's happening several miles offshore on boating activity. These things are pretty serious. So uh, that is the final set of plans. Uh, the engineer is coming to my office on Monday to go through the final spec book. I'm going to spend a couple hours with them, and then it's going out to bid. The system, you know, it's designed around these number of cameras. Is it expandable down the road should they choose to add, you know, CCTV and traffic light cams or in areas where we're currently experiencing challenges with dumping? Yeah, so the way we design this is whatever money's left over of the million dollars, mm -hmm. the police are going to pick another spot. We're going to use the same vendors and do it again. And it's all in the same system. So the system can accommodate more hundred percent, hundred percent. Uh, the other nice thing is it's not proprietary. The police were working off a proprietary system that nobody could touch. This system is not proprietary. Several companies in Connecticut can work on it. And UNH has these cameras. Has the exact same system. Any questions on that? And I don't have a bill tonight, but I will next month. All right, Painter Park Fieldhouse. Uh, a little behind. I'm sorry, go back to uh, Police Retention Fund. That's already, is that old? Yeah, that's already expended. Youth Employment Fund. Uh, I did get some paperwork from the Board of Ed. They spent $93,000 of the hundred grand paying students to work all summer. And I got the payroll. I got the um, actual... Uh, 
timesheets, the names, the whole nine yards. So I sent that off to UHY, so you'll see that column fill up pretty quickly. Uh, next, I've got EMS gas mass. So I, it's showing UHY asked for a munis report, and they're showing the gas masks were paid. I don't think that's true, so I think this is a mistake. And I asked the finance director today, and he was going to look into it, but we don't think they've been paid because we don't think they've been delivered. The um, the bulletproof vest, I actually went and visited, uh, opened the boxes, I took pictures, and uh, that was paid. The check was cut for those. So that, that is now paid 100%. Next, we've got the meeting room cameras. Uh, we had a company uh, bid it. Um, if you go to page 63, I'm sorry, 62, starts in 61, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68. This is, um, and then you got 69, 70, 71, 72, and 73. So this is a company that's going to, is proposing to come in here and put new sound and cameras in this room, the council chambers, and the third floor conference room. And the concept is that any chairman of any meeting can hit a button and it will turn on automatically, start recording, and sent out to the, um, to the web. All right, and the council requested that and we are presently under budget on that item. I have a scope review with them on, I believe, the 11th here at City Hall. I do have several questions, one of which is they gave no model numbers on their equipment. So we're not going to accept anything until we get that. That's one item. And they have several more, but I'll be going through a scope review with them on the 11th. Any questions on that? We had four people show up. This is the only one that bid on it. Hey, question on that. I, I yeah. use DNR at, at my place of business. Is that received as a gun uh, when you go when you do the invoice you'll sign it you'll sign it saying that there is an exception and yeah, or, yeah. Or saying, you know, yeah. good I mean I, I, I can't stand them so <laughs> if, that, if that helps you can indicate that on the record and yeah. you're Did, do they do good work uh, huh they do good work yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay <laughs> um, next I've got housing crisis grant fund that's going before MARB, I believe, tomorrow. There was a contract signed for $350,000 with Columbus House. Uh, you, you all heard the, the report from Olivia. You were all here. You know that the hotel is included. The uh, advocate for the homeless uh, person is included to get them into a rental property. The down payment for the rental property is included. All that comes out of this 350 and it covers a two-year span. Any questions on that? Okay, moving on, we got the Haley School ramp. I have, do not have an engineer yet to design that, but I'm working on it. The field turf is accelerating. Um, they're already in design phase, and I expect that money to be spent entirely in the next six months. Uh, next, I got Savin Rock Groundscape. <clears throat> that is the um, painting of the large groundscape and repair of the um, Playscape at Seven Rock. They, they'll be starting soon with the warm weather coming in. <clears throat> Next, we got the rooftop unit for Noble Community that is now being designed by an engineer under Antonazzi. Next, I've got the um, I got the electrical. I got a hundred thousand in for electrical work to city buildings. I've not heard of anything going out to bid yet. I'll ask them again. Kerrigan Boilers is under design. Uh, by the firm, and they'll be coming with, with options in the near future, and you'll see some bills against that. And then I've got the emergency bleacher at Veterans Field. Uh, I, last time I spoke to Commissioner McCarthy, I asked him if that went out to bid. He said no. You might want to get on that mic because it's only going to increase in price. The original bid we got was fifty-four thousand, but that was a single, un, you know, bid. We have to go out to bid in the paper. 
if you can maybe push to get that done because mm -hmm. those stands need, need work. And the longer you wait, the more expensive it gets. Okay. Um, Uh, hold on. All right, I've got new business. So I've got Swampscott Park Playground renovations in the amount of twenty two six forty six point twenty seven. So that is a small playground north of um, Route One, sort of behind White's Plumbing, you know, across the street in that area, and they want to replenish a, a playscape there. And that is um, Childscape, and that's in the state bid list. Do we have a motion to approve? So moved. Okay, do we have a second? Second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries, and we will see that when it's completed, and we'll have a chance to uh, see pictures of that. And it's, do we have to approve it? So we uh, invoice on it? Uh, it's not an invoice. It's a yeah. it's an estimate. Okay. Yeah. So we're not we're not paying anything got right it. now. Got it. Next, I've got Ivy League landscaping under the Parks Fund. Um, Brentwalk Park in the amount of five twenty nine ten. I believe that was pavers. They're dropping off for volunteers to put in a little paver sidewalk. Do you have a motion to approve that? So moved. Second. Second. Uh, any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. And next I've got Franks and Fence for 100 Plainfield Ave guardrail, the amount of 3490. That did not make the packet until after I made the packet. Do I have a motion to approve that? So moved. Do I have a second? Second. Any discussion? Is that the open space? Yes. Okay. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Okay, is there any other new business? Anybody proposes? Did I miss anything? Um, one thing to clarify, Ken, there were two Franks and Fence. Same, same amount, two different locations. And were they both approved? Yes, sir. Okay. Any other new business or questions? Items that were on the um, <laughs> got to spend the money, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> on the new business, is any way I can get any um, copies of it? Or I think they're in the book. I just the uh, book's too big. I, okay. I, I got to organize it better next month. It's too, right. it's too busy. You know, guys, one thing that's not going to happen. I'm not going to sit here on December 24 and say we didn't spend a million dollars. So, <laughs> any other questions? <coughs> Do you have a motion to adjourn? Motion. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Have a wonderful night and thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.